Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Doncaster, the deck building RPG on iOS with me, Jalanon at Luna Nebula Gaming. Today, I think it's finally time to go to the shrine. Uh, we've seen it a lot in the first part, but not in this part. Shrine of Radiance. The angelic features of the stone statue tower out from its pristine pedestal. Above its brilliantly carved head, both hands reach for the darkened skies, its fingers forming a perfect triangle while colorful lights dance over its marble features. Very well written description. Uh, okay, we can investigate, we can infuse the energy, wait, what, and add a surge card? No idea what that is. Um, investigate. The colorful. The colorful lights sliding on the statue's white stone carving seem to originate from the very top of the shrine. Inspect the hands. As you examine the statue's pose, you notice a small but bright sparkle between its index fingers. Climb on top of the statue as an old man, I'm sure. Try as you might, your hands and feet fail to find purchase on the smooth stone. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, infuse the energy of a card or add a certain... Let's, let's infuse. Okay, what, what do you do? exactly what this will do. So let's try it on a force wand, I guess, see if it upgrades it. You offer the statue a card and the dancing lights pause. Then each beam centers on your hand, quickly merging into a blinding white beam. After a brief moment, the lights resume their lively dance, having turned the card's natural energy into a humming power. Oh, it does upgrade, okay, okay. So we've seen that it's like infinite upgrades and our base cards seem to do pretty well at upgrading. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Better force one. We could do that again, apparently. The alchemist we have no money for. Talking tree. Well, hello, talking tree. Would you like a conversation with me? A soft squealing breaks the unnatural silence within these woods. As you circle the suspiciously noisy tree, the noises get louder and louder until you can see the bound man squirming against the ropes wrapped around his entire torso. A torso stripped down to its boots and undergarments. Uh, is there a reason to check the man's boots? What? Leave him tied up. Start cutting the ropes. Well, check the boots, I guess. Why? As you slide the man's boots off a few well-hidden coins. Oh, okay, this is the mean answer. Okay. I, I wanted to know if there was a reason we could find him like this. Uh, start cutting the ropes. Wait, it's Julius Belfort? <laughs> I guess this is why we didn't see him in the town, huh? The merchant brushes off his coat indignantly and seems confused about the whole ordeal. Uh, fair, okay. Merchant recruited. Oh, we didn't recruit him yet. Okay. Finally, he glances at his discarded boots on the ground and narrows his eyes. We will consider that a small fee for freeing us from this whole deal. Fair enough. Now, unless you intend to rob us of our britches as well, we have matters we need to attend to back in Brightcar. Uh, no, we're not going to rob him of his pants. No, I didn't even mean to take his boots. Anyway. <laughs> I was hoping we'd figure out... Yeah, anyway. There's a bandit tracker, there's a matriarch daisy, runner-up in the Bright Candle Kennel Club dog. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, opportunity. So all these things have had more HP, which makes sense. Uh, I say we go for the Bandit Tracker. He's got an aura. Oh, he's enraged and he gets the first strike. Whereas if we tap and hold, don't let go, you can actually kind of see what these are. Okay, you also have first strike. Hmm, but you can dispel blessings from opponents. I'm betting that gets rid of our focus. Let's try the tracker. Pain? Incoming. Wait, you have a gun? Camouflage. Oh, okay. Sure. I don't do melee attacks, so that's fine. Hmm. So yeah, he didn't deal any damage to us. I'm kind of okay with that. Give me stuff. Frost block. We can gain two armor. I think... We don't really have focus. I think we can still do just our attacks to get through this faster. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have double checked since one of our force wands does five damage. 
I need to double check those whenever I use them. Like, anyway, surge of intellect, surge of intellect. They can combust. So yes, that does bury some of our shit. So I guess combust also makes it easier for us to get through stuff. We're going to save our diamond potion. No point using that right now. Okay, well that is a lot of damage. So I'm going to falcon. A falcon. Um, could observe. Hmm. Searing ray. Target is burning, so we gain that mana back, and then we can still do a fireball. So this guy will die. He's an extra. Oh. So we can move the falcon to the bottom. Which seems pretty good by moving this to the top. And then this guy should go down after his turn. We're going to take some more damage. Okay. More pain? No. Okay. No pain. All game. We take that. Choose a reward. Frostbolt Conduit. Ooh, gain two chain. Flow three. Draw a card. Charges. Wait, what? Okay, cards with charges can be played X number of times per combat before it is paired. Oh, so that means we don't get it too often either. Flow triggers when played after playing at least the indicated number of cards during the turn. So if we play three cards before Conduit, we can draw a card too. Oh. Yeah, and you're free. Okay. That seems good. Maybe we'll reach our 20 card thing for Scholar. All right, oh, the blacksmith. Uh, we have a wee bit of money, not a lot bit of money. So we can go to the bandit collector, blood taxes at the end of your turn gain, health equal to the opponent's bleeding, remove all bleeding. So I'm betting he likes to inflict bleed. Matriarch Daisy, I, I don't think we can save the dog, but at the same time, I kind of want to try to save the dog. This is probably stupid. All right, dog. Let's get you back to... <laughs> you have your ribbon and everything. Uh, but hopefully you just ate a squirrel and not a human being. <laughs> oh, dear. My optimism may be the death of me. All right, that, that sounds bad. Um, we have just the... F oh, no, we have the better force wand. Okay. So good to note. Let's use force wand, force wand, block. Uh, no need for the diamond potion, I think. I hope. I dream. Ah. Okay. Surge of intellect. Hit. Hmm, because spellcraft. There's no burning yet, so yeah, I think it's spellcraft. Hope for burning. Oh, we get conduit. Hmm. That does make our force wand better, but we want to play other stuff before it. So I think we do. Well, let's fast forward, gain two haste, or inflict too slow. Draw a card. We don't have 20 things. Um. Hmm. Also, does that only... Okay, no. It, it's at the start of combat your deck had 20 cards, so I think you might even need, like, 24 to get that to work. Anyway. Oh, uh, how many have I played correctly? Show me, Daisy. Yeah. Surge of intellect, so I need to play at least one more thing. You know what? We just do that. Then conduit should be activated, I think. But we'll do this. Then we can conduit. Then we can observe. Then we can pull you to the top. And then remember that we can't actually draw it. In like that. So we do a little bit of frostbite. Okay, I did that all wrong, but. Ooh, okay, uh, we'll get better at this, probably. And yes, you are healing off of my pain. I don't like it. Uh, we have Zap for free. Let's do that. Um, block? Is that gonna be enough? Probably not. Hmm. Now, let's go do this. And then we get three sins. Is getting rid of. Oh, I got rid of Zap. No. Okay. Well, then I think we block. Okay. Alright. Doom. What does Doom do to me? At the end of the turn, take one damage for each stack of Doom. Ah. 
decrease doom for every action played. Oh, okay. Maybe. Uh, why are you red and you not red? Let's see, we have doom, we have pin. Only the leftmost and rightmost cards in hand. Oh, that's interesting. That's one round per stack. Okay, well, we're doing the search interact. Then another search interact. Then we can combust. And, uh, yeah, so combust, we want to be able to increase the damage in order to make it do a lot of burning damage. Intriguing. We have plenty of mana. You are apparently going to cause an affliction. A melee attack, deadly attack. Do I diamond potion? Hmm. I don't think so. Let's do this. And because you were guarding, that actually did nothing, so we didn't... Okay, okay. Well, I can see your armor. Do I force one for four? I think not. Uh, I think I just prepared to take a lot of damage. Okay. Yep, I should have used the armor. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hmm. Do you still owe oh, doom? That's probably what was preventing the damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's observe, because it's. We could bring back the diamond potion. I don't think we need it. I think we fireball rather than combust. Okay, we do have Searing Ray. It's practically free. Force Wand for damage. Probably gonna need the diamond potion just because, if nothing else. Hmm. I don't think fireball's gonna be enough. Melee attack, hex. Hmm. I think I fire block. Force one will not let me block still. Hmm. I think we do the force one just because we need damage. End my suffering. In theory. Okay. I thought this would be a tough battle. I was right. Sir Ventilus. Sir There we go. Okay, Matriarch Daisy. Not a pushover. We can get another zap, though. That seems good. Or purr. Also works with this, but let's get it down. It's free. It's good. Strange carvings. That's for the bandits. We're gonna, we're gonna go camping for once. Give 20%. That's 14. I need to do another combat, it looks like, in order to get my weapon ability. Uh, the normal bandit bloodhound is not going to be as tough as Matriarch Daisy, I'm betting. But, uh, let's go to the shrine. Hmm. We can inspect it again. Shrine of Stability adds Reliable to a card. Cards with Reliable ignore their Ambush, Bloodless, Cascade, Continuity, Finale, Flanking, Flow, and Frenzy conditions. Oh my word. Huh. Okay. Not for a card. Um, I could give that to... Combust. So then it always deals at least two damage, right? What's that like? Reliable. Oh, reliable. You place the card in between the shrine's hands, pressed together in front of its chest. For a while, nothing happens until finally the hands slide apart, allowing the card to slip free. Okay. Uh, I think we go camping again. <laughs> Deal. Alchemist. Uh, could buy another potion. I'm not super enthused by that. We do have 20 cards now, so Scholar is a thing we could go for. Once again, I don't know if we want to add any more cards. We kind of want to just have good cards now. Uh, we can follow the strange carvings. I think we just follow strange carvings. All right. Take me close, huh? To follow the trail. Bandit camp. There it is. Uh, let's go to the camp. It's probably deadly. 
As you search for the next carving, you become aware of distant sounds to the east. You follow the increasingly muddy trail of footsteps towards a dense part of the forest. The noises soon become the clear sound of laughter and celebration. It looks like you've found the hidden encampment. Approach quietly, charge it. Let's go quietly, because they're going to be goofing off a lot anyway. Uh, we can go to the blacksmith, we can go to the alchemist, or fight the collector who has 52 health. Uh, let's go to the blacksmith. Reset your weapon power? Nah. Wait, that's free? What? Oh, maybe because there's only one turn left. Remove a basic attack. I kind of don't want to. So yeah, I'd, I'd want 50 next time I see this guy again. So reset my weapon power for free. Yeah. Go for it. Well, that's just nice. Uh, and then Garvin Greaves, we know about you. I don't really care to get any newer cards. I think I go for Alchemist. So it must be running out of stuff. You can buy a potion or upgrade a card. Hmm. Upgrading a card just gives it like plus one damage. Which isn't bad. We can make Combust do more damage. But I think I'd rather just buy a good potion. So we can get the Impervious. We get the Healing Potion to try to get more health back. We can inflict Burning with the Holy Water, since that's kind of one of the things we like to do. Cleanse and Affliction, I don't know if that's really going to help a lot. Potion of Alacrity makes it easier to chain, so you know what? Let's try Potion of Alacrity. Try to make it easier for us to do a lot of chain cards. Card added. Yeah, now we have the Bloodhound as the easy fight. I think we go straight to Garvin Greaves. All right, Queen. Yeah, with your 64 health, I wasn't going to get much more health, so... Conduit. So we do want to play three cards if we can. Let's do that. And we can Hmm. I'm trying to get my good force wand next turn. Yeah. Let's try to do that. Move to top. Because that's two cards. I don't know if playing the conduit counts as the third card. Let's find out. It does not. I am sad. Okay then. Are you doing something crazy? Probably. We do that. And we do that, because we had some chain. Okay. Did I lose my chain by playing the fireball? What? Okay. Well. Hmm. I may have done that out of order. Okay. A random potion? Oh, uh -huh. well, that's not the Regen. So what does regen look like? Yeah, and you lose regen. So it's six health, basically. But of course you can stack it higher and higher. Uh, if we can make combust deal more damage, that would be great. I think we do zap. Force one. Searing ray, because that should refund. And then we could combust or I think we can bust to add more burn. Because we need the fires to burn ever brighter. Especially with that. Outlaw alchemy. Ooh. Ah, that's what I wanted. Ooh. That was more than one attack. Huh. We're gonna attack twice. Definitely doing that. Alacrity. Okay. So we can do a bunch of these force wands. Bam. Boom. Bop. Vile healing might be good. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess vile healing only works for future heal? Oh my goodness. Kind of glad I added two health. Uh, yeah, we're definitely playing the Diamond Potion. That's just going to happen. Diamond Potion. Okay, Searing Ray, which is good. Uh, block we don't even need, so I'm not going to play it. Even though it's free. Alright. No. Chain doesn't help us. Cauterize does. 
right? If we Vile Healing, then Cauterize? Okay, then, okay. So Vile Healing doesn't work on itself. <gasps> okay. Uh, the chain doesn't help, the block doesn't help. We basically wasted the haste a little bit. Bam! I think we still try the block just in case. Doesn't hurt to try. I could draw a good card, actually. So yeah, we got, yeah, we got some more chains. But okay, worth it. Yeah. Uh, damaged me, right? Just for the first hit. Okay. Well, now we know. And that's where armor could be better if they do like a bunch of multi hits. Okay. Well, we zap. Then we have force wand. Where do we have the best force wand here? Five. Five. Okay, almost done. But not today, Garvin. Not today. Level up. Plus 3% luck. Okay, interesting. Headhunter, whenever you defeat a boss, gain 50 gold and heal to full health. That would be nice. Quick study, choose a card in your deck, reduce its energy cost to zero. Hmm, that'd be great for our little wand. Force wand, or fireball. Hmm. Oh, that is huge. Uh, upgrade all magic actions by one. Whenever you add a magic action to your deck, upgrade it by one. Wait a second. Does that help my force ones? I mean, are you magic? You're a magic basic attack. Fireball is a magic action. Frostbolt is a magic action. Okay. So I don't think that helps my force one. If it did, I would absolutely take magical but I am leaning towards making a free fireball or headhunter. Hmm. I mean, the free force wand wouldn't be bad, but fireball helps us just deal more damage in general. So, yeah. Since I don't know if I'm going to live long enough to do another boss battle, I think we do quick study and we do it on the fireball. Made it free! Free! Be free fireball. Okay, Arcane Lance. Once again, we didn't build towards that. Conduit is good. Gathering Storm. After deal four damage, echo for each turn. This card remains in your hand. Oh. So you can leave it in your hand forever? Ooh. Can't be buried either. Well, take a conduit. The leader of the bandit staggers. An incredulous expression on his twisted face. Slowly changing into a bloody grin. Lucky hit. You don't even know what is really going on here, do you? He pauses, coughing up some more blood as he clutches the clearly lethal wound on his chest. Let him speak. Garvin snarls and watches his bloodied hand before taking another ragged breath. You think there's hope here? While there is none, Arcanist. <coughs> there's something those holier than thou paladins aren't telling you about this whole endeavor. But I won't be the one to spoil the spree. He growls as the red gleam in his eyes starts to dim, and a last gurgle and gasp marks the demise of the devious bandit. Address the remaining bandits or return to break camp. Uh, address the remaining bandits. With their former leader dead in the mud, the remaining bandits stop their jeering and stare at each other bewildered. Invite the bandits back as soldiers. You all work for me now. Let the militia sort them out. Um, let the militia sort them out. None of the remaining bandits seems inclined to challenge your claim. Most still looking disoriented, as if wondering how they got here in the first place. Oh, interesting. Where to next? Uh, explore the area. Uh, return to Reckon. Let's try to not die real fast. Canto four. Bright candle. We're back. Okay, we got 26 money. It's not much. Hello, Consul. Could you give me more money? The Consul greets you with a courteous nod. You made it back, which means you've already proven yourself more capable than most of the rabble that answers the Gilded Summons. Hmm, not the best attitude for employees putting their lives on the line, but oh, okay. Hmm. Report your success. Traitors, led by one of my former sergeants, no less. Disgusting. I can stomach those wary of our cause. But to abandon it altogether and turn it to the corruption, it's revolting. Okay, that's a lot of money. The 
Hansel reaches into a drawer on her oaken desk and hands you a heavy pouch. On behalf of the Radiant Militia, I thank you, Arkans. You've taken care of quite the problem. How is the war progressing? Ah, yes. The Consul pauses for a moment and takes a seat behind her desk, pressing the tips of her fingers against each other as she proceeds. As you might have gathered by now, our war effort against the Black Citadel isn't going exactly as planned. The Demon's resistance has been far stronger than we anticipated. Their numbers seem to grow by the hour, while our hours dwindle every day. Hmm. Okay, so we don't know who the Dawn Raider is, apparently. And did she even mention the Dawn Raider? Interesting. Okay, well, who is the Dawn Raider? We call him the Dawn Raider now, but he was once known by his given name, Corellian Soulspear, a Kandorian noble, discovered to be the champion by the Order of the Gilded Rose itself. Okay, why are they so important? The Dawnbringer is not just a warrior of the light. He is also our banner, a rallying cry to the men and women of the Radiant Militia to give them the courage they need to push into the hordes that await us in Umbris. Why isn't the plan working? The Consul looks up and seems to think for a moment before taking a deep breath. Our champion is... missing. I tell you this because you've earned the truth. Every day the men and women of the Militia grow more anxious as our numbers dwindle. Without our champion, the troops will lose morale. And if we can't change the tide, Bright Candle will be overwhelmed within weeks, if not days. Okay, ask about the Gilded Summons. The Gilded Summons was supposed to give us the much-needed reinforcements. The Magisters offer a profitable contract to those not enlisted already, with the calls being answered hesitantly, and I fear we might be losing ground soon. Okay, about the demons? The demons seem nearly endless. We anticipated resistance, even after Ray's initial strike, but I've never seen their ranks grow so large in so little time. Ask about the plan. The crusade is the plan. Ray gave us a sign, casting their beacon on these dark lands. It turned to a rallying cry, a banner the entire shattered realms could stand behind. But that's not all. As the prophecy foretold, she sent us a champion, an avatar of light, carving the path into the abyss of Umbris and reclaiming what was lost so long ago. Okay. So where are we looking for a champion, right? Of course we are, but so far. All our scouts have, well, disappeared as well. Where was the champion last seen? Despite my advice against such a bold move, the Dawnbringer and a small number of his followers set out to the Black Citadel itself. I hesitate to ask this of the Organist, but the time for indecision is over. You want me to fight? I think we've got it. To put it bluntly, there will not be much of a war if we don't find our champion soon. You've proven capable up to this point. Perhaps you will succeed where the militia has not. Okay, do you think they are still alive? We don't, but an avatar of light and long foretold champions would just vanish and die. He must be up to something. We just need to know what it is before the whole world ever falls apart. What do I do once I find them? Report back or aid them in whatever way you can. We need to break the Black Citadel, or all hope is lost. I'll find this, Tom I don't know why, but I believe you just might. May the light guide your path, Arkansas. You will have earned more than just the region's favor should you succeed in this mission. Hmm, okay, hey, we have a merchant now. Okay. I do want to upgrade all my basic stuff. Upgrade all my basic stuff. Okay. And then, merchant. You notice a small makeshift shop with the logo of the Emporium proudly on display. Ah, oh, our noble savior returns. Have a look at Julia's wares, my friend. Only the best prices, as always. Show me your wares. Spell Echo. Ah. Free copy of the last played action for one mana. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Tranquility. Gain three health. When this appears in a foretelling, conjure a free copy of a card. Hmm. Looks like it can be used with green and blue. So that's what a dual stat looks like, I guess. And then blue and red for righteous blades. This combat conjure a free basic attack at the start of the turn. Basic attacks inflict burning for each yellow on it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you have to deal damage for that to work. That seems pretty good for a burning idea, though. But I'm kind of more going into chains. Uh, foretell. Look at the top X cards. Corrupted. Four or more corruptions are present in your deck. And or discard pile. Okay, so you can have a corrupted deck. And then you can heal more. Scholar, your deck. Yeah, okay. Hmm, if we were doing that, great. But we're not. Uh, thank you, Julius, but we're not going to add more cards. Uh, I think we do try to take a nap. 
Ready to go. Thank you. Worth it. In the area. Okay. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's what SpongeBob would say. In a high pitched voice. Canto 5. Knox Light Swamp. The thick fog makes it hard to navigate the treacherous ground, while only the occasional gaslight illuminates the deadly denizens of the damp, dark quagmire. Ah, Trail the Champion. Quest. The mysterious Knox Light Swamp is mired in thick and penetrable fog. Many ah, soldiers and adventurers alike have tried to find their way through these dense and dangerous grounds. And yet none return with clues of the champion's whereabouts. More visitors? Can't I just be left? Bulgar Blight. Okay. Hmm. I was trying to see if it was saying we needed to buy a uh, DLC pack or something, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. Hmm. Blighted Ranger. This way. I think. Looks like he might have some mushrooms on his back or something. Uh, opportunity. Let's try that. You spot a stack of wooden crates, abandoned and unopened. Each dark wood box is bright with the symbol of an Emporium's Raven, a black bird with its long claws around a pair of scales. Continue. How curious. The Emporium's cargo left out here in the middle of nowhere. It must have been meant for us, given that we are the ranking and only representative of the guild out here. Uh, how do they get it? By Telexpress, of course. The Emporium's patented teleporting system. It's far too complicated to explain. Even if we didn't sign many, many NDAs detailing the various gruesome ways in which we would be dismembered should we break these most sacred of contracts. Okay. Interesting. Let's continue. As sophisticated as the Telexpress may be, it absolutely, it obviously isn't flawless. If it ended up sending precious Emporium merchandise into the middle of nowhere, all the paperwork alone will take us hours, nay, days to write. Open. We must protest. These are Emporium goods. If they find out we were involved in opening these crates without the proper paperwork, they will take it right out of our bi-monthly earnings. Open the crates. You open the crates with a hefty blow of your weapon. Immediately, a stench of rotting flesh overwhelms you as a corpse slumps lifelessly from the wooden box. Oh. You've been poisoned. The merchant stands agape at the revealed cargo. Did we save days of paperwork? Better make that at least a week. This is most unusual. Hmm, what happened to you? We, we do not know. Best not assume the worst. It must have been some clerical error, or perhaps some unlicensed stowaways. There's no way to be sure without the shipping manifest. Okay, inspect the corpse. Appears to be male, dressed in poor man's clothes, hands bound by simple chains. Several scratch marks are still visible on the inside of the wooden box. Ooh, wood splinters leaving visible damage on the man's hands, I think. Uh, I would say the writing of this game seems a little more involved in age nine plus let me put it that way hmm what about these chains or open the other crates let's talk about these chains yes that does seem curious almost no no we won't have it it was probably some unfortunate mix-up as our report will no doubt uncover for now best not to dwell wouldn't you say our chemist open the other crates okay we get money out of that the other crates contain an assortment of various trinkets and unremarkable items more in line with the usual trade the Emporium is known for throughout the realm. A most disturbing find, Arkans. We can't approve of breaking Emporium regulations, but this was certainly unexpected. I feel like we didn't get to investigate that enough, but uh, okay. Festering Shambler, a mossy mass, shambles through shallow swamp water. Blighted Ranger. Opportunity. Away. Ah, a small basin of water reflects the sparse light in your direction. Its glimmers seem strangely radiant, breaking the scattered light into a dozen of vibrant colors. A uh, bottle of water. We do not drink it. Panacea! Okay, great. I like it. Hmm. Torn cloth. Let's check it out. You spot a piece of cloth hanging from one of the gnarled trees, strangely illuminated amidst the dim swamp fog by a gathering of dancing lights who seem to study the object with some interest. As you approach, the lights turn into an angry buzz, like a swarm of hornets, and attack. Defend. I am poisoned. I am not happy. All right, we have two mana. This costs zero. Um, I take some poison as well. Did I get more poison? Oh. Oh. Well then, Searing Ray is now free. So now we can block. Force one, force one. Oh, oops. Miscalculations. Never mind. Brain pain. 
Oh. Two brain pants. That's not going to be great. Oh, but it's all free. <laughs> take this puzzle. Okay. Observe. Uh, we will take... Hmm. The eight damage force one seems pretty good. I, I think it's calculating my current... Oh, this is upgraded three times, though. Hmm. So yeah, I think it is calculating my current chain into that. Because it should be at seven, I think, instead of eight. Hmm. Conduit's just good. We can play other cards, but this force wand is pretty good, so... We'll do that. Then I will Conduit. I can force wand seven. Then I can cross four. Okay, hopefully that means that it's going to deal damage to us. We take now? Yes. Okay. Good. Most good. Wait. Why is your HP 21 still? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Surge of Intellect first. Uh, the Panacea we're not going to play. I have three mana to play with. Do this for free. Frost Lance. And Stormwolf. Four damage. Chain Continuity. Triggers when played after a card of the same type. Types are melee. This is magic conjuration. Hmm. Conjure two zaps. Um. I guess we try force wand. Force wand. Storm. Zap. Okay, that worked. I have victory. It's very nice. We can get another Spellcraft, a Frostlance, a Cryolance. No, I think we just skip all these. Yeah. We skip. As you are ready to strike your final blow, the wisps disperse and scatter through the marsh. We tell. We tell, Master. We tell. Inspect the piece of cloth. The golden white cloth leaves little room for doubt. The Champion's Party must have gone through this part of the swamp. Oh, okay. Campsite? Oh, wait. Uh, let us heal. Okay, I need to do two more combats before I can use my weapon healing. Nox Light Shaman has less health. We can do another opportunity. Let's let's try the Shaman while we still have a little bit of health. Because as the deck thins out, we're going to be facing down stronger things that we haven't faced, right? So I think we want to do the Shaman now. But it looks like the opportunity just dissolved there. So maybe you have to take opportunities when you see them? Also, this man's uh, body seems to be flexing very strangely. At the right pack. Huh. Pectorals, man. They can be weird. Surge of insect. Surge of insect. Uh, we can then zap. Conduit. And zap. Fireball. So, yeah, that would have messed up the chain if I played Fireball during that. So, yeah. <laughs> We're learning. Uh, we still have four mana. That's pretty good. Cold bones? Uh-uh. Hexor. Do four damage. One damage. Okay. I think we're still good. Let's observe first. Hmm. Let's try to get our force one, I think. Move to top. We can do our block. Then conduit should change color. Let us draw a card. No? Okay. I am mistaken. More pain. And my old bones. Okay, we could use a panacea, but nah. We ain't about that life. Force wand, force wand, force wand. There we go. Overcome the frozen by sheer brute force of mind powers. Ooh, choose a reward. Sharpening stone. One use, upgrade the next basic attack you play by two. Grounded. That's grounded. One use. Can't be altered, copied, or reviewed. Makes sense. Delay. Inflict one jinx. Huh. The next action played has no effect and reduces jinxed by one. Jinx cannot be increased by bane. Hmm. Start of your turn, your foe receives a free copy of the first action you played. Huh. So basically, they don't get to use it this turn, but it becomes free their next turn. Well, that's an interesting technique. Hmm. I think I take the sharpening stone, though, since we're doing our force wand idea. We don't have a bunch of corruptions. Okay, and this goes away after we use it, so we can have some more good force wands. 
Uh, let's take the opportunity in case they do, in fact, go away instead of being useful. Ah, yes. Hmm, noxious fog, okay. We're picking up more poison. That's not great. The card game. Three cloaked figures around a warm and bristling campfire seem to be engaged in a card game of some kind. Join the game. Three cards get dealt in front of you. The dealer's dark eye sockets light up as it extends a bony finger towards the cards. Pick your fate, stranger. The final star of the wheel of the hourglass. Let's do the final star. Seems suitably dramatic. The skeleton solemnly turns over the card. The final star. An omen of health, prosperity, and fertility. Fortune smiles on you this day, stranger. <laughs> My guess is they would have attacked me or something without that card. <laughs> Let's go for the stray wind. Okay, we healed a bit. Or do we get poisoned? No, that was my one relic sort of thing. Never mind, we heal at the start of combat. Okay, at the start of the turn, all combatants gain. Oh! Wait. Is this last turn? Huh. That's actually pretty good for me. Uh, we're gonna do this, then that, three. We can block. Do I spellcraft? I don't think so. Save that mana. Or attribute of the mind. Ah, my pain. Okay. Yeah, we're both healing up quite a bit. <laughs> okay, but now we can zap force one, force one, and observe. Zap. Force one, force one, then observe. Hmm, combust wouldn't be bad here. Why is it currently dealing with five? Is that from the reliable? That seems pretty good though. So let's do that, especially with the uh, healing five every turn. Do I frostbolt? You're doing hexes, so I. I don't think I need to decrease your attack, so we'll save that. Mama. Brain pain. Okay, yeah. We're good, we're good. Alright, Combust is not doing five. I am sad. Sir, it's been clear. Save me. Okay. We could try to get rid of everything, but we'll take four damage if we keep the Panacea in hand. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. I think I can bust now. Hmm. Let's try force one now. Then conduit. Then conduit. Hmm. Upgrade the next basic attack you play. Can I upgrade? Bust? I don't think so. And then we'll leave that in there, and that's damage, but we'll heal that anyway. Okay. Ugh. We won't heal that. Hmm. Intellect. Intellect. Block. And we're going to play the Force Wand to get that upgraded. Alright. And then Frostbolt to my play you, because it looks like... Yeah, you're doing an attack. We can. Okay. Then you'll eventually take 7 damage. Are you losing max HP every turn? Is that what's going on? Is your health bar? Hmm. Yeah, lose 5 max health. Okay, okay, okay. Immune to bleeding and stunned. Yeah, the holy water would have dealt a lot of burning. That would have been interesting. Uh, free fireball. Spell clear. And sin. Okay, then we can conduit, conduit, combust if we so desired. I had a lot of cinches, okay. All right then, choose a reward. Gathering a storm, deal four damage, echo, hmm, fast forward, vile healing. Hmm, I think it might be time to get rid of our other vile healing, honestly. We don't have enough healing to make use of it. Opportunity, merchant, sure. Let's do opportunity. Ah, you spot something glittering in the shadows. 
21 gold. So if we find a blacksmith again, we can upgrade our basic attack skill. So neat. Let's try out the Light of Ranger. And I bet we'll find another boss and then probably fight the boss and end the episode there as we're currently thinking about things. Uh, we could spellcraft. I think we spellcraft. Okay, mind blast. Interesting. What? Gain a focus. Deal damage equal to twice your focus. So we deal four damage with that. Ice blast. One damage for each card in your hand. Inflict one frozen. That's not bad. Conduit, we can't quite afford a bunch of stuff. I think we just do conduit for the chain. And then force wand, force wand. And then we could try to mind blast for the focus. Because if we can get to five focus, that means we get another card to draw. Do I care? I think I think it's better to save on mana because we have our chain ability. And of course that combos over time. So much pain in my membranes. Okay. Um, we can observe, we can zap, and do other stuff. Hmm. I think we have force one. Let's maybe combust now. We can zap, contact, force one. And singe. Eh, I'm not sure I like the cards that we lost being lost. There. Ugh, oh, more burning. Okay. How dare you steal my ability? Hmm. Fireball's free. You just do that. Vile healing is healing. Hmm. Zap doesn't really help us with anything. I think we block, block, vile healing. So let's do that. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of burning pain. Okay, the five poison, does that stick around? Did we block that? Looks like maybe. Okay, well we can do Panacea. Do I cleanse and affliction? I think we do it. Looks like it goes from left to right. I didn't get that to use there. A surge of insect. Block. Force one. Okay. We're good. We're good. Uh, victory. Alright. Conduit. We can get another one. Deal 1 to 10 damage and chain. Ooh. That's just worse than my normal attacks, though. Because on average, that's like 5 or 6 damage. Hmm. Gain two and remove all bleeding. That's interesting. I think we take Conduit because that helps us draw more chain cards and all that. So yeah, we have enough money for our merchant friend if we want to try to find more cards. Hmm. The campsite resets the poison we enter into combat with. I think we take down the Blighted Warrior though while we're still at a decent amount of dealing with stuff, and then we should be able to use our weapon ability to heal later. So first we fireball, then we searing ray, then we surge of intellect, then conduit goes to action. We conduit again, we zap for free, we force wall. Ah, delicious. Okay, now we take poison damage and damage damage. Ouch. So they don't get impervious because we didn't use any melee attacks. It seems like melee attacks are just kind of worse in this, so they probably deal more damage in general. That'd be my guess, because there's a lot of effects that, uh, yeah, just don't seem good. Hmm. Okay, I think what we want to do is block, block, conduit, zap, force wand, and then we ignore the others. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, we have to block that. Didn't block that. Well, it's kind of nice to get the healing, since our chains help us get more damage out than the enemies, but we are taking a lot of damage. Hmm. I think I 
Force Swan. Force Swan. Come bust here because what are you doing? Blessings. Yeah, okay. Come bust. Burn the power of fire. That might have worked. He'll probably have like one health left at the end of this turn, right? Because he heals five. Nope, never mind. Okay. Making it through, making it through. We can get another conduit. Singe. Inflict two burning and bury a card. We don't want singe without combust, I think. That takes up too much space. Conduit, yeah. We could get. Because conduit can just flow into stuff and we gain more chain with it. Yeah. It's like a, a self combo card as long as you have the mana to start it. Knock like troll seems very difficult. Let's try the shrine. Okay. Shrine of Balance. A partially overgrown statue it stands in an unusually lush alcove to the side of the road. Its smile seems soothing, as if at peace with its chaotic surroundings. Both hands extended, balancing the weight of one against the other. Investigate. The Shrine of Balance allows you to move all upgrades from one card onto another. Um. I don't think I care about that. Investigate. No. Okay. Upgrade a card. Like, we can upgrade from Bust. That just makes it deal more damage, but I think we just increase our chain cards. The question being, do I spread out the chains or do I try to have one great chain? And I think the answer is I spread them out. So then, regardless of which chain I get from the Force Wand, it's still good. Yeah. I think we're gonna lean into our basic attacks a lot. Okay. Festering Shambler, I have 45 health, I can. I now have 61 health. Take that. Festering Shambler. Time to meet you. Is that you, Clarence? No, anyway. Uh, let's see. We can observe. We can spellcraft. Okay, let's observe. Ooh, Zap is free chain. This is the top. Then we can spellcraft for free. Firing Contagion. Ooh. But we bury two cards. No. Oh, that's less great. Um. Hmm. Do I do this for the mana? I think I do. Zap, no! Oh, and it goes in order to bury? Oh. At least it seems to, because we move Zap to the top. Okay, well now I know. I guess. Mossy Slam, that five days. Once I play five things, I basically have a limit of five things to play. Okay. Uh, let's see, we can conduit, conduit, force wand. All right, so as much as I wanted to play more cards, we can't, right? Wait, what? I quit. I'm stunned. Count his cards, you do. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I'm not going to say no to getting an extra card off of it. Interesting. Regrow. That's really annoying. And then the final star. Oh dear. This is going to be a battle. <laughs> Alright, do that for sure. Uh, then we block. Vile healing. Conduit into maybe Zap. Yeah, because then we get stunned. Okay, that was worth it, I think. Alright, 11 damage. Oh. Lame. I'm not dazed anymore, right? So I should be good. To Surge of Intellect, Block, Zap, Conduit, Force One, Force One. Four mana for next turn, so hopefully we can get a chain. Okay. But well, we had to do it kind of like that, and then I didn't mess up my chain. Because that's important. You want to start with your non chain cards first, as much as you can. Ooh, chain lightning! Deal one damage, echo for each point of chain. Reduce your chain by one after each kill. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Fan the flames. Deal two damage, deals additional damage for each stack of burning on the target. Bury a couple cards. Eh, you don't have enough burning for me to think that's super worth it at the moment. Mm, I 
think I do vile healing. Never mind, that's not enough chain. Do that, then this. Force one. And then everything else I got. Okay. Thank you, Dazed, for coming back. Alright then. Hmm. Fireball for free. Combust. Hmm. Sir. Then you can conduit. Conduit. It's not exactly what I was about, but it'll do. There we go. Choose a reward. Uh, I think we. Uh, amount of burning is increased by chain. Honestly, seems pretty good now, and we have a bunch of cards. On. I think we take this and get rid of vile healing at some point. Let's go for the blighted ranger. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, this is taking longer to find the boss than I expected. So. Hmm. And Searing Ray, but that doesn't really help that much. Eh, we'll do it. Do that, then this, then that. Then Force Wand, then Free Fireball. And call it good. Still a lot of damage motion. More poison. More burning. It's like the Swamp of Athletes foot or something. Okay. Well, we block. We observe. Conduit on top. Conduit up. So then basically we can conduit, 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 and then force wall, and then we Okay. So unfortunately we can get two force wands, but we still got a lot of damage off. With just one. Thanks to all the conduits. Alright, now we can zam force wand. Call it good. All right, then. Hmm, what do we take? Gain plus one strength. Gain red for each strength at the start of your turn. Greater intellect. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going intellect. We're going intellect. Greater intellect unlocked. Okay, so. Chain continuity, conjure two zap. Stormbolt is pretty good with our chain stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I think we take it. I think we now can support a stormbolt. I don't know if we could have before. And I think we'll call this an episode, dear girl, since this has gone on longer than expected. <laughs> Leave a like if you've been enjoying Dawncaster. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on whether you think this blacksmith's mohawk is because he had an accident in the forge or something. I hope you do, if you Have a great day.